Welcome to What's What Jamaica News TV where we bring you the latest. We are going to focus on the elderly and disabled people in 2023 and there are a lot of charities out there such, like, such as Shan Sen Sen that needs your support guys. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. As the new year begins, more focus needs to be given to the elderly and the disabled, people who cannot provide for themselves. Focus should also be given to able-bodied people who want to work but does not have the opportunity or the means to do so. People who are able-bodied, if they get help, not from private donors, but from the government who can set up some kind of program for them. Maybe this could help to reduce crime. Private charities driven by donations cannot do it alone. The highlight of the day is on a charity that is trying to do such. And this is Shan Zen Zen. And some of you or most of you must have followed her on YouTube. If you haven't, now is the right time to do so. So in Jamaica, a person's capacity to access the entire variety of services that social society has to offer is significantly influenced by their location. The severity of their impairment and how easily they can move around. But practically, considerations are only one aspect of the discrimination that people with disability must deal with. The complete integration of people with disabilities into Jamaican societies is hampered significantly by ne negative attitudes and biases regardless of the potential of the individual. High degrees of stigma are held against people with disabilities and their talents by the general public and employers, which frequently worsen the social exclusion. This demographic experiences, and it's not easy for people who are disabled in Jamaica because there's always some kind of stigma attached to it. Why it happened? And because this person was this, that, or that, that, why they bring this disabled child? Disability is not a discrimination. It's not a disease. And this is an education that people in Jamaica, people need to be educated. That brought to mind one charity, Shan Zen Zen. As I watched a recap of the woman with nine children, this past weekend holiday it was very emotional through donations from her viewers she built a house for her that she moved into Christmas 2021 as a woman and a mother Shan Zen Zen is very nurturing she shows a lot, lot of understanding and caring for people with disability if you follow her videos, you can see how much she cares about Barbie, one of the children of nine. I believe it's the first child. She also visited a child just recently, maybe a week or two ago, who had never been to school. She is deaf and dumb. And watching the video, you can see how mo emotionally touching it was for Shan. Then there is a single father with two children that is not healthy. And the children that really need support. She took the children into her home while the father stayed over at the hospital. Not to mention Archie, who is a little on the slow side. He lived in an old broken down house for 38 years. She cooks for him and eats with him. How many of us could have done such or would want to do such? 
as I watch her going around and checking these people for Christmas to make sure they know that someone cares about them during the holiday season was very impressive. We as a people as Jamaicans fail to understand disability. We tend to call people with light or severe mental disability madman or madwoman. And it's because we don't understand. And because of this, a lot of the disability people are denied and they're shoved under the rug. What I notice is Shan Zen Zen is focusing on these people. She's highlighting that sick, old, and mental people are people. And they should. Be, they not should. They are capable of love and caring like any one of us. Parents and guardians who have children with disability are being urged to register their children with the Jamaica Council of Persons with Disabilities by the United Nations Children Fund in Jamaica. Even though they are urged, the agony they have to go through, parents and family cannot be bothered with the process. And I was watching the lady with the dumb and deaf kid speaking to Shan Zen Zen about her experience. Most of these people are poor and need money to get the process going. They need a lot more help than just telling them where to go or what to do. A private charity based on donations from their viewers cannot do what is really needed in the long term for these people. There are incentives to being registered. But how are they going to do it? They need to know the types of social services that are available to them and a government representative should be assigned to them to help them in the process of getting these incentives. Thanks to all the charities and especially Shan Zen Zen. You are doing a great job. Guys, if you have not yet seen her YouTube, check it out and give her your support. Not all of us can donate, but all of us can subscribe. And we can watch the, the videos then and don't skip the ads to give her your support. So, anyway guys, thank you for watching my YouTube video. Kindly make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel. You share the video and you hit that notification bell so you will be notified of all new videos and I will see you back here on my next YouTube video.